Hello everyone. So my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. I am 2012 batch Amesonian, and I did my MBBS from Ames and did my MD in Pediatrics from Ames, New Delhi. I secured rank of 17 in Ames PG 2018. I'm currently doing my DM in Pediatric Oncology from Ames, Delhi itself. Now we are going to discuss the NEET PG recall questions that have been asked in this year NEET PG on Saturday. So for Since my expertise is in pediatrics, I'll be dealing first with some questions of vaccination, and uh, let's begin. So, first question that was asked was: the, There's a child who has a history of repeated infections. Some people are saying me they had actually given the CD4 counts which were low, and what is what vaccine to be avoided? It's a simple, rather uh, pretty straightforward. In which you, I'm pretty sure most of you know, already know the answer. Since the question is saying there is a history of repeated infections, there are low CD4 counts. All he's saying is that the child has low immunity, low immunity, or he has immune sort of an immunodeficiency. And you all know, in case of immunodeficiency, it's better to avoid live attenuated vaccines. Live vaccines are to be avoided. They are not to be given. Live attenuated vaccines are not to be given. So the options were IPV, DPT, MMR. Here the correct answer obviously will be MMR. MMR is a live attenuated vaccine given against measles, mumps, and rubella. Viral vaccines in general tend to be live and attenuated, while bacterial vaccines in general are uh, inactivated vaccines or in a uh, killed vaccine. So DPT is a killed vaccine. IPV is a polio vaccine which is killed. OPV is a polio polio vaccine which is live attenuated. So IPV is an activated polio vaccine. This would be we can give this to a person with immunodeficiency. DPT also also can be given to a person with immunodeficiency. So the correct option here is MMR. MMR is the correct option. It's a live alternative vaccine. Should not be given to a patient who has or a child who has immunodeficiency or low CD4 counts. Whatever the question exact question was. Next question was, uh, so you they gave a scenario of a child having encephalitis. He's in around Gorakhpur, and if the vaccine is there, what is the root of that vaccine? So basically, they are asking you in multiple steps what is exactly about Japanese encephalitis, Gorakhpur. And encephalitis means it is Japanese encephalitis. J. They're asking about the Japanese encephalitis vaccine. That is S A one four four by one four four two. This is vaccine is given by the subcutaneous route. It's also a live attenuated vaccine that you should know. So the, here the answer would be subcutaneous route. The options could have been intravenous, intramuscular, or intradermal, or whatever. The answer is subcutaneous. That you should remember. Now, some question of the pharmacology. Uh, I'm sorry. The uh, vaccine is not SA one four four two. By it's SA one four one four two. Yeah. Now, some questions of uh, pharmacology. Again, restricting myself to hematology, oncology. That's my specialization. Super specialization, in fact. Now, question is methotrexate. What is the mechanism of action? Methotrexate is a drug that is given both in immunology and for a lot of malignancies. And how does it attack? It acts by inhibiting an enzyme called DHPR, dihydrofolate reductase. This is the mechanism of action of methotrexate. It inhibits dihydrofolate reductase. Now, what dihydrofolate reductase does is that in our body, the folate which is present in dye. Gets converted to dihydrofolate and which further gets converted to tetrahydrofolate, and this is the active form of folate in our body. And as you all know, folate is required for DNA synthesis, RNA synthesis, and replicating cells in the body. Now, this reaction, dihydrofolate reductase, this is a uh, reaction is being catalyzed by the enzyme dihydrofolate reductase. Now, this is being inhibited by methotrexate. So, active form of folate is not formed. When the folate is not formed, so obviously replication doesn't occur. That's why it's used in leukemia. That's why it's used in immunological conditions where there is an active proliferation of the immunological cells which are acting against the own body, the autoimmune cells. Next question again, something related to immunity. This is in fact the reason they asked tocilizumab probably is because of the COVID nineteen pandemic that is going on in our country. Now tocilizumab they asked it against where where does it act? So it's a interleukin six inhibitor. It's an interleukin six inhibitor. You should all know this. Next question of PSM related to PSM microbiology, but what you you will commonly see in your wards, in any ward that you are. The question was blood spill is in. There's a blood spill in hospital ward. What to you? So this is the actual uh, spill management protocol used in Ames, Delhi. I took a photo of this for this particular question. As you can see, it says one percent sodium hypochlorite. 
So answer is clear. Answer is sodium hypochlorite. This is in fact a repeat question. Nobody should have gotten this question wrong. It's a repeat question. It's a crime to mark repeat questions wrong in entrance examinations. You will lose your rank. It was asked in INIC 18 2017. I distinctly remember that's the AIMS PG entrance exam I gave. Answer is one percent sodium hypochlorite, and you should not have marked this question wrong. Next question was a throat throat swab is done of a patient. Then you have to discard it. Where will you discard it? Now this is based on biomedical waste management. Again, it's a rather simple question. Now, as we all know, black. हमे ऐसे पढ़ाते थे, हमे ऐसे पढ़ाया जाता था. कर से काला, कर से कचड़ा. So anything that is just a waste, non-infective waste. लेसे तुमने ग्लव्स खोले, ग्लव्स खोलने के बाद जो वो प्लास्टिक सा था या उसको वजह रैपर था, उसको कहाँ फेंकोगे? Black में फेंकोगे. Next comes red. Now red is for infected plastic waste. Remember this. It's for infected plastic waste. Now what is infected plastic waste? Infected plastic waste क्या होगा? तो हरे कैनला जो हैं, कैनलों में ब्लड जब लग जाएगा, उसको जब फेंकोगे वो प्लास्टिक है, वो इन्फेक्टेड प्लास्टिक वेस्ट होगा। इसके अलावा तुम्हारी सारी की सारी ब्लड में अगर ब्लड लगी हुई है सिरिंजेस, वो सारी की सारी प्लास्टिक वेस्ट होगी, इन्फेक्टेड प्लास्टिक वेस्ट होगी। ये सारी की सारी चीजें so here the correct answer is yellow. Yellow is the correct answer. There are two other colors that you need to remember as far as biomedical waste management is concerned. That is white and blue. But ये ना containers नहीं होते। White color का ना एक पंग non non puncture proof box होता है। Non puncture box होता है। अब word ही non puncture है तो इसका मतलब इसमें क्या आएगा? इसमें sharps आएंगे। Sharps will go in white. Blue जो होता है वो glass के लिए होता है। ब्लू एक कार्डबोर्ड बॉक्स होता है जिसमें तुम ग्लास और वो सिरिंज सॉरी ग्लास और ग्लास वाले जो चीजें हैं वो बेसिकली जैसे कोई मेडिसिन है मेडिसिन का जो ग्लास बचा उसको तुम उसमें डाल सकते हो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है स्पेडियाट्रिक माय एक्शन स्पेशलाइजेशन so a kangan wadi worker was going around the town she found a child she took the height for age that was less than two standard deviation what such what does this suggest now as you all know height chronically badhti hai dheere dheere bhoot badhti hai weight achanak se badh sakta hai achanak se kam ho sakta hai it can suddenly go and it can suddenly increase or suddenly decrease so weight always suggests acute changes height will always suggest chronic changes since the question here is height for age is less than two standard deviation the answer here is chronic malnutrition had it been weight for age then it would have been acute malnutrition thank you have a nice day if you like this video and have liked my previous video, don't forget to like, share or subscribe. I'll keep on posting such content. Your love and blessing is what has been kept me going for the past three and a half years. Thank you.